Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video on the tropics and so in this video we're going to be talking about our systems across the North Atlantic Basin. So we have Major Hurricane Sam which is still out there, it is intensifying and you also have our three disturbances and so before I go into details with these systems. <music> Okay, so let us get start things with salmon. So we're seeing here on satellite that it is looking a lot better. Yesterday, it's weakened because of an owl replacement cycle. But now, here we have the hurricane looking great. And actually, we have this eye becoming more and more clear. So it is likely that this will continue to re-strengthen. And winds could be up to 140 miles per hour as expected by the National Hurricane Center. So currently, it has re-strengthened uh, from a around 120 miles per hour because it weakened down to a cat 3 and now here we have it now as a category 4 hurricane yet again so some further intensification is likely with this system and it is going to be in favorable conditions throughout probably the next two days or so so nothing is really there to inhibit the system from intensifying much so we'll see what happens during the next couple of days for sam and let's go on to the cone forecast from the national hurricane center and so we're seeing here that Sam has sustained winds. As I said, it is a category for hurricane again. Winds are 130 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the northwest at 9 miles per hour. So it's moving very, very slowly and it is located well to the east of the Leeward Islands. So it is expected to remain well offshore and it is going to be making that curve out in the open waters. And fortunately by Saturday, it is going to be making its way well to the east of Bermuda. But some of the outer bands from the system could have at the island so probably some rainfall uh and a chance of some gusty winds but nothing major is anticipated from this but the surf is going to be a problem because the swells that are generated by sam could result in some life-threatening rip currents and those are very very dangerous so it's best to avoid going to the beach uh during this time here when sam is going to be making its way by and that really goes for portions of the northeastern caribbean so the leeward islands the virgin islands puerto rico and for bermuda when sam is going to be making its way by and so now let's go on to our disturbances and so the first one we look at is that one located to the east northeast of bermuda and so this is associated with the remnants of peter and there is a 50 percent chance that we could have a regeneration but we're not seeing much really going on for this and the chance has actually slightly decreased so as time is going to be progressing then we will have the chance decreasing because it is going to be accelerating uh, more up to the north which means that conditions will become increased increasingly unfavorable especially in terms of that uh, the ocean temperatures for this and so nothing much is really anticipated from this it is not expected to be a threat to land during the next couple of days and so let's go on to our next two disturbances so these are our two invests that we could see become our next named storms probably before the end of this week so let's move on to them all right, so the first one that we're going to be taking a look at is what is designated as Invest 90L. So that is the disturbance that is close to the coast of Africa. And so we're seeing here that it is given a high 90% chance to potentially develop into a tropical cyclone during the next couple of days. And during the next 48 hours, a high 70% chance. So it's likely that maybe by the next day or so, we will have this strengthen into a depression and so fortunately it is expected to remain out in the open waters and not be much of a threat to land during the next couple of days and so if we have this disturbance developing before the other disturbance then it is going to be acquiring the name victor which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season so the chance is actually slightly higher for this one to develop so it's likely that we will have this one here developing first so let's go ahead and take a look at it on satellite and we're seeing here that we have quite a bit of convection a uh, very deep convection associated with this it is not so organized but it is definitely producing all that shower and thunderstorm activity so as time goes by we will see this looking a lot better as it eventually strengthens and conditions should be conducive to enable this to become a tropical cyclone and so in terms of the potential intensity here what our models are showing we have them 
all agree that this will become a named storm. A few expecting that it will become a hurricane, one say in a category three. And I don't think a cat three is really unlikely with this system as of right now, but we will see what is going to be the eventual outcome with this as time goes by. And so let's go ahead and take a look at our next disturbance. So this one is designated Invest 91. L. And so we're seeing a big change with this because remember, uh, it was expected to move mainly westward and probably enter the Caribbean. But now it seems as though this is going to be staying out in the main development region and not moving into the Caribbean, which is some very good news for persons that are living in the eastern section of the Caribbean. And so this is expected to move generally to the west northwest and it could make a curve up and not making its way into the Caribbean. So that is a good possibility at this point even though we're seeing such a big change in terms of this we should still not outro the possibilities of it affecting portions of the caribbean so we really have to wait and see what is going to be the eventual outcome with this and not just say that okay it is not going to be here at all things can change and we really have to watch this and so in terms of what is expected for the intensity, we have quite a bit of available models and a majority agree that this will become an named storm. A few expecting that in the latter part of this week, we could have it become in a hurricane and that wouldn't be impossible. But once conditions are favorable, then we will eventually have some intensification taking place of this. And so the chance for this is at 80%. So if we have this develop into a tropical cyclone after 90L, then it will become Wanda, which would be the next name. And that would conclude the list of names for this hurricane season. And then we will have to go on to our supplemental list. So that new auxiliary list, uh, will be used for the first time most likely this hurricane season if we have a storm developing after Wanda is used and the first name is Adria I believe that is the pronunciation for it so there are 21 names here just like on any normal list but this is just to be used in the case of the original list for a season being exhausted and so guys that is really it for this updated video on the tropics so we have some good news for the caribbean it seems as though invest 91l is going to be staying out to sea and not making its way in but again things can change and we really have to pay attention to this and see what's going to be happening as time goes by and also even though we probably have this not make its way into the caribbean we're not completely out of, you'd say, harm's way because as we head into the month of October, GFS has been consistent with something developing in the Caribbean. But we'll see what happens as we're going to be progressing into the new month. And we will definitely have to have our eyes on the Caribbean once the model is consistent with this which it really has been uh, for a few days now so we'll have to wait and see what's going to be happening but of course i will keep you updated on the latest as time goes by guys and so if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be with the lies